Hi there, welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to what's on my desk. And what's on my desk is a great big huge box of happy mail. And I just, I, I decided to save time because it did look so big um, that I thought, okay, I'll get this out. I'll get it sort of arranged on my desk because it's a big box. I mean, this box holds up to 11 pounds. This is one of those terrific flat rate boxes that you can get from Canada Post, and I know they do this also in the U.S. Uh, anyhow, um, this is from Camille, and Camille, I've already had a little peek. I haven't got into it yet, so this really is going to be a happy mail opening, um, and I'm already excited and humbled <laughs> by what I've seen. Camille had offered to send me stamps when she <laughs> heard me <laughs> in my videos um, saying what a challenge um, my meager supply of stamps is. <laughs> and, uh, and she kindly messaged me and said, can I send you some stamps? Well, she sent quite a bit, Camille, <laughs> and thank you. Um, and thank you for it the lovely lovely letter and i look at this envelope it's even got polka dots inside i love polka dots polka dots are just such a happy pattern they're right up there with rick rack for ha for the happiness scale so um let me start my timer because i'm i'm concerned that we could run out of time with this is literally a pile of stuff um, what I'm going to do is hopefully, if I stand to open this, my back will be screaming. <laughs> it's just the wrong angle for my back. Oh, so here's the stamps <laughs> that started it all. Oh my goodness, you darling. I'm, I'm overwhelmed already. It's, um, it's like Christmas in May. Let me move some of these and that way I'll know we've worked through it oh sorry for bumping you here's the stamps that started the whole thing so it says stamps from canada 1910 approximately to modern wow. camille is a fellow canadian wow look at this oh my goodness and this says American and other country stamps, 1910s to modern. Amazing. Amazing. And look how lovely packaged. Wow. I want to see. Come on. Come on. Let go. I don't want to. I don't want to open you with a knife. I want to keep this beautiful little glassy envelope. There we go. I'll put that back down. That looks like fabric Tim Holtz tape. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Look at these. I'm going to leave them right where they are so that I can uh, know what they are and who I got them from. Carrick Fergus Castle. Okay. Oh, these are beautiful. Wow. Okay. I have another. Oh, wow. Cuba. I've seen Cuba from a ship <laughs> but i've never been to cuba and i've heard it's beautiful us canadians can go there but uh, i've only seen it uh, from when we've been on cruises where we've cruised close by wow oh i'm gonna have to take my time and enjoy going through these stamps they are lovely wow is that there we go republic oh of guyana Wow, look at the variety in here. Camille, thank you so much. Wow. And it's funny for me, I enjoy the the uh, monochrome stamps as much as I enjoy the beautiful colorful ones. I think they both have their both have their um, beauty for different reasons. Oh, I've got it. I just have to take a little peek inside the Canadian stamps because, you know, I'm a Canadian girl. Let's go here. 
when I say that, it reminds me. It reminds me of my mother. If I was ever caught whining about anything, my mother's reply always was, oh, stop your whining. You're a strong, healthy Canadian girl, and you can do this. <laughs> and I still, I, I can hear her voice in my head. You're a strong, healthy Canadian girl. You can do this. Oh, look how pretty that is. Is that the blue nose? Oh, that's beautiful. Four cents. I can remember being able to send mail. I think the, the smallest amount I remember as a girl was a five cent stamp. I could send mail to my little pen pals that I had. I would get pen pals. We camped everywhere as our vacations. And uh, sometimes I made a few friends along the way and we would exchange addresses. Oh, wow. Some of these I've never seen before, Camille. I'm going to have to really enjoy these. Anyhow, yeah, we would, uh, I, so I had a few, I had reasons to write letters and send mail. Isn't that pretty? Wow. Thank you so much. So, so these are the, yeah, definitely enough stamps um, for the rest of my junk journaling career. I'm very excited to get into these. Now I'm going to want to look for some flower ones to put into, um, to use in uh, the new Chronicles of Rebecca. So I have to work on her a little bit more today, later after I'm through with this. So this was right on the top when I opened the box. And these are beautiful. Lace rosettes I made, she says. Some have very old mother of pearl buttons. Oh, wow. And I look at the different colors of lace. Wow, these are so pretty. So pretty. Wow. I love these old vintage buttons. Okay, this one might be my favorite. Oh, this one, I'm, I might be putting this one aside for Rebecca. Right now. I'm putting that over in Rebecca's basket. These are beautiful. Look at these buttons. Wow. And all the different colors of lace. So pretty. Oh, I love that button. I hope you can see these. I'm not standing up, so I can't see my screen. I love that button. And you do something that I do, Camille. I like to switch it up on four whole buttons. So you've done a crisscross stitch here on this four hole button, and then you've done two parallel stitches here on this button. And I do that too, depending on my mood. I will, uh, I will switch up whether I do parallel or whether I do a, a crisscross. Oh, these are lovely. Now I want to leave this on the top because these are so nicely orderly. They're going to go into my lace basket and I'm leaving that in there so that I remember that you were the one who took time not only to make them, but send them to me. All right, those are going over into my my basket of laces. Where to start? Well, let's keep, we're on a lace theme. Let's, uh, oh, let's take a look and see. I'm already wanting to grab this. Look at this, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna have to stand up. I need to be able to know that you can see these. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is darling. <gasps> oh. Oh gosh. And those are all colors that I love in a junk journal. Oh, I love it. Some more laces. Nice. Wow. I like how you do this. You must have Tim Holtz fabrics. Oh, okay. So Tim Holtz does make fabrics. Doesn't surprise me that Tim Holtz makes fabrics. But we're very limited up here in Canada. Gosh, that's pretty. We're very limited in Canada. And you know this, Camille. <laughs> you are a fellow citizen. Um, and sometimes uh, we can only get access to cool stuff like Tim Holtz stuff. Uh, if we cross the border and of course there's been no crossing borders for over a year um so and also sometimes we just we have to order from online and have it shipped to us 
because many of our stores don't carry these things. Wow. Oh, lovely. I love these kinds of laces because they don't bulk up your journal. Thank you. Uh, fabric strips. Three or Tim Holtz, my favorites. Oh, that's cool. Again, I like how you do this. It's nice and orderly. Oh, I love that one. Look at that. Oh, these are going to be fun. Nice. And look at this. Oh, these are beautiful. Well, it's a good thing I cleared out my room last week quite a bit. Okay, that's stunning. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. So pretty. Wow. So pretty. All right, I'm already 10 minutes. Oh, lovely. My kind of color. All right, I again, I'm going to put these inside this bag so I can keep track of them. And put them aside for now. I have a feeling, because I'm seeing, I'm seeing so much over here. Hold on. That's all from the Happy Meal. Oh boy. <laughs> Old and fun glassine envelopes of different sizes. Wow. So would these have been from stamps? I love them. Canada. Canada. Oh, these are magnificent. Oh, look at them all. Oh, see, I recognize these. <laughs> I recognize these ones, and I love them. Oh, thank you. You don't even get these very often anymore. Because they want you to just buy the pre-sticky ones in booklets. Oh, these are fantastic. Thank you, Camille. I'm going to keep these right in here as well. Make life easier. And put you there. From the great art stamps of the world, first day cover collections. I love things wrapped in patterns. Wow. I've never seen these before. That's Russia. Right? I think. Wow. International Council of Museums first day cover. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Grenada, West Indies. 1981, 25th of January. Oh, I was extremely busy. <laughs> On the 25th of January, 1981, I had two three-week-old twins. <laughs> wow. Oh, these are beautiful. Wow. Oh, I'm looking forward to using these in journals. I will peruse through those. Another type of art stamp set I got as a stamp at a stamp club auction. Wow. I'm trying not to rip the pattern paper because I actually use it. <laughs> and I'll put that to use. Gosh, this is like Christmas. Oh, aren't they beautiful? Wow. Oh, I love this one. That might have to go in to um, Innocence and Experience. These are gorgeous. And the card is gorgeous. Oh, I've got so many ideas going through my head right now. Let's see. Various goodies I made. Oh, all right. This is exciting. Hold on, Jeremy. Oh, oh, wow. 
journaling cards I made from Beatrix Potter books and scrapbook papers. These are beautiful. Look at the nice layering. Wow. I love that kind of tab. And you can't get that punch anymore. I have been looking everywhere for that, um, that shape of a punch. Oh, I love that one with the red. These are beautiful. And they're all ready to go for journaling. Lovely. I am going to enjoy looking. Oh, I love that. Oh, so that's what you can do with these. Oh, you're going to give me all kinds of ideas. Wow. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to put them in this bag. And this afternoon, when the clock and the camera is not ticking, I'm going to uh, have a cup of tea and really enjoy going through these. Vintage and Funky Cards 1950s to more modern times. I like how you make these cards. Oh, lovely! Look at these. Wandering Hedgehog receives one from Wise Owl. Oh, those are beautiful. Wow. Nice. Oh, I love these. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's amazing. Oh. Oh, I love these. Pocket gopher. What's that one? Eastern mole. Wow. Oh, these are wonderful. These will definitely get used. I'm keeping everything labeled. Old postcards, first aid covers, five American prepaid envelopes. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that's beautiful. I love how this was done. Oh look at that. I like how this was done. Isn't that a great idea for uh, making junk journals? So pretty. With love for my daughter's birthday. Oh, I'm going to want to be reading through all of these. Wow. 1906. School of water damp. Oh, yeah. I'll be reading them word for word. Perry Sound, Ontario. I love Perry Sound. I'm a couple hours from Perry Sound. Wow. Oh, these are lovely. Again, I am... Oh, nice. Okay, these are... There are things here that I've just never, ever... I've seen on YouTube junk journaler channels, but I've never actually held one in my hand, let alone have one in my stash. Oh, I love that stamp with the train. Gosh, my dad would have loved that. Okay, again, this is going to go into my Catherine having a tea break and peruse through these. The receipts from the Brotherhood is from the early 1940s. The smaller receipts are from a pocket receipt book, and the card and paper in it had a date. Oh. Oh, wow. Aren't they nice? Wow. Beautiful. These are cool. Look at that. Carpenters and Joiners of America. Wow. Oh, I love this sort of thing. 
Now you've got my head going for ways to, again, rearrange my room so I can make better use of cool things like this. Let's see here. Old photos and a couple of very old stereoscope cards. Oh, I've never seen those in real life. I have a book on them. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Look at the bathing suit. And you always wonder who these people were. Wow. Oh, I love that. That's the snowy background. Wouldn't that be pretty in a Christmas journal or a winter solstice journal? Beautiful. Wow. Lovely. Oh, look at them. Isn't that awesome? So that's what these are like. Waverly Paris Rants. Amazing. These are the things, right? You put them into a viewer and it looks 3D. Is that that's correct, right? Wow. They're beautiful. I'm going to I'm going to keep these well labeled for now. That helps. Stamps I backed onto scrap paper. I noticed this when I pulled this out of the box and I thought, yes, look at that, because you put one on the back of the little the little personalized card you sent. Look at that. That's brilliant. Look what you've done with these little stamps. These are lovely. Wow. That is so clever to put an old stamp just on some really pretty inked scrapbook paper. Oh, I love that. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun with these. Thank you so much. I have a feeling this could be a whole other video just for this great big vintage here it says vintage receipts from a hotel in Oxbow, Saskatchewan, the Alexandra Hotel. Ah, uh, I don't have anything like this. And I search high and low. My challenge is for me creating junk journals. The area in Ontario where I live, although I live in a small town, because of the train system, I'm still considered a part of the GTA, the greater Toronto area which means that any old cool stuff like this that would either be sold in estate sales or yard sales or auctions gets snapped up because the big buyers in Toronto will just swoop in and get them. And in order to get really cool stuff that won't totally break your bank, you have to go further out into the province of Ontario and um, obviously for the past year and a half I can't do that and you've done it for me this is amazing I'm I'm going to go through this on my own but I'm already astounded at what's in here look at look at these I love this sort of thing oh that's beautiful wow 1947 my brother would have been one year old. <laughs> I'm giving away his age. <laughs> My oldest brother. How am I for time? Oh, I'm 24 minutes. I think I can do it. Now, I should have read this. Hold on. Let me flip this over. Oh, I'm going to put these. I'm going to put these over here. Some fabric. From my local quilt store. Wow. I'm saying wow a lot today. That's beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Oh, can you imagine pockets made out of this? This looks like marbled paper. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I have some daughters that would go crazy over that. Well, I'll go crazy over it. But I, I have one daughter who's got a massive... What are these called? 
besides octopus or squid, cephalopods. She's got one, a big tattoo. It's gorgeous on her. Wow, this is beautiful. Look how pretty that is. Oh, again, I got so many ideas going through my head. Oh, the same daughter with the octopus has a fish. She loves fish. Wow, that's pretty. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? This is very unusual. Oh, I love this. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. Thank you. And let's see. I think this is our last one. Oh, we're doing well. We're at 25 minutes. Maybe if we have leftover time, at the end we'll go through some of those receipts on camera. So this is... Oh, these are the journals you said you make from cards. Oh, I'm good. I can't wait to see this. In in the personal letter that Camille sent me, <clears throat> um, she said she makes one signature journals out of cards. <gasps> wow. This is lovely. Look at this. Isn't that nice and little teeny? I love your edging. Is that a tear edge ruler or is that scissors or have you freehand torn that? It's beautiful. And I like how you've attached the lace. This is beautiful. Edith. Oh, a fellow inker. Isn't this pretty? Oh, this deserves its own. Okay. This is beautiful. And I love it, but I think it deserves, it deserves its own um, video. So I am going to, I'm going to do a video just of uh, Camille's uh, single signature card junk journal. Because that's gorgeous, I can already tell. Now, since we've got three minutes left, <laughs> this big baby, I wish she could feel the weight of it. Look down inside there. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let me take a peek. Oh, there's some. There's. Oh, oh, they're pinned together. Maybe I should just take it all out of the bag. That might make it easier. I'm running, I'm running out of room on my desk. Crochet magazines. My mother actually crocheted from magazines. When I started seeing these at thrift stores, they brought back memories from me for me because uh, they were usually hanging around my house my mother making she could do all this she tried to teach me um it was one of those situations where she was so good at it that i just sort of thought oh, why am i why am i doing this my mother can make me doilies and of course now i don't have her but i do have many of her doilies <laughs> so that's um a blessing Oh, vintage stencils from a 1930s stencil book. Oh. Okay, I'm going. I'm sorry. I'm going to do this quickly, and I apologize. Let's take you. I love the yellowing on that. The natural yellowing, boy. Us junk journalers, we can't really. Um, we can't duplicate that. Oh, pretty. Oh, pages from an alphabet book. Holly Hobby. Oh, sweet. Very sweet. Yep, 1978 Holly Hobby alphabet book. I guess I should read these. Pages from a 1980s Re Reader's Digest book of North American birds. Oh, lovely. I like the shape of these, the size. Okay, I've never seen the book that these must have come out of. Ah, uh, wrens. I love wrens. They're little tails that go straight up. Reproductions of 18th century botanical periods from a book called Flowers, a Guide for Your Garden. <gasps> Look at these. Can you see these as end papers? Oh. Oh, they're beautiful. Pages from a book on architecture in Amsterdam. Oh, nice. Oh, I love these.
That's lovely. Creamy and black and white. Pages from a book reproduction of Victorian flower book by Henry Terry, originally published in 1873. Wow, that's very similar to um, Edith Holden's style, isn't it? At first I thought these were Edith pages. Isn't that? And they're double-sided. These are beautiful. So let me get this up here in case anyone's interested. So from a book by Henry Terry that was originally made in 1873. These are beautiful. Wow. I know I'm saying wow, but it's wow. Oh, I love old stationery because I used to use old stationery when I'd write to my little friends that I'd make camping. Look at that. My cute. Oh, wow. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at that little house. Forgot where I got these. Good for journal cards. I'll say. Aren't they pretty? Crested lark. Oh, look at I'm at 31. Well, what an amazing stash. See, I'm already got ideas going with this in my head. Because now I'm seeing where you came up with your uh, inspiration to make these. We will go through this. I promise. More stationery and papers. Oh. Oh my goodness, then there's old stuff back here. And there goes my timer. Camille, these things are beautiful. From a mechanics book. Camille, I am overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed at these beautiful things that you sent me. 1921, 1950s German home health medical book. Oh, I love it. 1930s Blackie's Girl Annual. Toy Bazaar. Pages from a Reproduction. 1971 Toy and Doll Games Catalog. Oh, that looks like fun. Can you imagine that in a Christmas catalog? I'm going to get cut off right now. Camille, thank you so much. This is just incredible. Wow. Okay. Take care, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.